So that is the new DLC coming to Planet Zoo, the Eurasian Animal Pack. So yeah, this pack is looking actually really nice. So this is sort of like that pattern that we were having for a while, which is sort of the Animal Pack and Scenery Pack versions of previous DLCs. So like this is the Animal Pack version of the Europe Pack and um previous packs like arid was like the african animal pack tropical pack was like this the southeast asia scenery pack despite having african and south american animals but looking at this this pack is looking pretty solid now i'm gonna provide my honest thoughts here i actually think this pack is it, it hasn't taken opportunities away for dlcs like some others have it's sort of like allowed others to still occur. So this one hasn't taken too many Highlands animals. So hypothetically speaking, a Highlands pack can still happen. The only Highlands animals that I can see in this pack are the Wolverine and the Sichuan Tarkin. So yeah, don't, don't lose all hope on the Mountain DLC. Like that can still happen definitely, for sure. So when that will happen, I have no idea, but um it can it still has a possibility so yeah let's dive into the animals shall we so our first slide um shows off well, i say slide the first image shows off guests walking down the path and in the background you can see one of the new animals the mute swan so mute swans get that name due to their largely quiet nature and they are one of the most iconic waterfowl of all of europe common sites on lakes and ponds um and yeah that is our first waterfowl so that's a big deal so we have not gone ma many waterfowl outside of flamingos storks uh, well have, actually we haven't got any storks but flamingos cranes and seabirds like penguins and so the mute swan has paved the way now for animals like ducks pelicans grebes potentially even cormorants all these waterfowl species that have like the short legs they have the ability to come into the game now so if it happens maybe at the start of next year we'll get the coastal dlc fingers crossed and we might get a pelican uh whether whether it's a brown pelican or some other kind of pelican i i, I i'm not too fast on which one to be fair I mean, people want the great white pelican the most. However, they're more of a wetland species than a coastal. So, don't know how that would happen. But the mute swan here apparently will have the animations where it dunks its head, spreads its wings, all those classic behaviors that, who knows, maybe you have seen a mute swan exhibit in real life. I've never seen a mute swan personally. I've, I have experienced its cousin, the black swan that lives here in Australia. And they are quite fearsome. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you that and um yeah i'm i'm excited for this guy i know a lot of people uh are a bit excited for this i i am a bit late into the to the eurasia party so yeah i mean i'm i'm excited for this guy our next animal is the wild boar a as australians like to call it the feral pig as they have a very widespread feral population here but they are also a classic European animal and will make a fine addition to your Eurasian parks. The baby looks really cute. Love how the male is looking. And in the trailer, you also saw it. The female or the sow. I should say hog, sow, piglet. There we go. All the correct terminology. So the female looks good. Okay, the sow looks good. Hog looks good. Piglet looks good. It's a really good looking animal. I love the detail in the fur and the tusks. It's looking beautiful. Our next animal is one of the most surprising additions, but also one of the most welcome additions is the wizens, or the European bison, as it's also referred to. These are absolute powerhouses of the European continent and have a great conservation story where I think it was Poland, they managed to save the Euro European bison from extinction and have had reintroduction efforts across Europe. And I think the most recent one was actually into the UK. So if you're living in the UK, there are now wild European bison in a reserve. So you may be able to go see them yourself. And yeah, I love the detail on this guy. 
So it's got a lot higher quality than his cousin, the American bison. It's got longer legs too, I can see. And hanging hair, hanging hair. We can get a muskox eventually. I mean, muskox would have been good for this pack, but I feel like given that we've got both the Tarkin and the Wizens, another uh, animal of that um, stature and build would probably feel like a bit of an overdose, but muskox is a highly requested animal anyway, so it, it might have had a good reception. But I love how the Wizen looks here. It's absolutely beautiful. I really like it. Another animal that is looking absolutely beautiful is the Wolverine, the largest land-dwelling mustelid in the world that lives on three continents, North America, Europe, and Asia. And it is able to climb, so it's got its own unique rig and is looking absolutely stellar. I love the fur textures, the pattern on the chest. And yeah, it looks like a Wolverine to me. So this is now, this was the number one spot after the Tasmanian Devil. We get it in the exact next pack after it. Well, is it the sequential next pack? So yeah, now Secretary Bird can take the number one spot and hopefully we might get that next year. Or for however long Plan Zoo keeps going because it's a money making machine for Frontier. So given that's one of their most popular properties, I am fairly confident that they'll keep doing it. Especially considering since Jurassic World Evolution went out with a bang, Plan Zoo's gonna go out with a bang. So um this is not the last DLC, I can assure you for that. Just remain confident. You see how confident I am about that. Um, today we also got revealed the Tarkin uh, over on Frontier's social media channels, and my god, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it is, yeah, it's a very beautiful looking animal, part of the goat antelope family, which is making it related to animals like the musk ox and the mountain goat of North America. And yeah, the babies look beautiful, the adults of course look magnificent. Can't wait to use these guys in a sort of highland section. And I will, yeah, I won't be using too many of the animals in the pack, but I will certainly make an effort to do so. Tarkin has been on my wish list for quite some time. So, and it looks to be specifically the Sichuan Tarkin, which is the one that most people are, were wanting. Golden Tarkin would have been cool as well, but the Sichuan is much more common. So it makes more sense to include it here. And yeah, we finally got a Tarkin. Uh, moving into some of the shots from the trailer, we get a a very slight glimpse at the moot swan. We can see the head a little bit, but we have not seen the whole animal um, up close yet. So hopefully within the next seven days, eight days? Yeah, it'll be seven days now because Tarkin's been revealed. So we'll, we might be able to get a closer look before the release. Another animal that doesn't really get too much uh, of a look is the Saiga. So the Saiga antelope of the Eurasian steppe is coming to Plant Zoo in this pack. And apparently we'll have a lot of unique animations with that bulging nose of it. So yeah, I'm really excited to see this guy. I know they're not too common in zoos, but I am excited for the Saiga nonetheless. They are a, a very peculiar and highly endangered animal. And also quite ancient. They used to, I think they were actually around during the Pleistocene, so a bit of an Ice Age relic, you could say. But yeah, I'm excited to see them. I was kind of hoping for their Mongolian variants, but it seems we're going for more of the Russian um, Saiga, which is one of the subspecies, Mongolian being a lot fluffier, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, so we haven't gotten the sloth bear yet, so sloth bear has not been revealed. And our exhibit animal, the Herman's tortoise, our first tortoise since release. So finally, <laughs> and it's one of the only tortoises in Eurasia, so it's a very cool inclusion here. It's very beautiful too. So we've got the wolverine, the wizent, sloth bear, saiga, tarkin. Wild Boar, Moot Swan, and Herman's Tortoise in the exhibit. So there are a lot of cool animals in this pack. Um, moving on to our career scenarios. So working with Bernie Goodwin to set up a bit of a uh, national a, a sanctuary, I, I'm pretty sure I read. So going to look forward to that. We've got a soccer field there. 
And uh, looking at the European bison, what well, wisent down below, looking absolutely beautiful. So yeah, can't wait to use this this pack for completing this career scenario. Wonder what the statue will be. Probably a wisent, but it could be different because we've already got an, a bison statue. So potentially a wolverine, maybe. We'll have to see what happens. And of course, the souvenir shops that being modular, you can actually change the size of them too. So that's a really cool feature. And you can change what's in them too. So that's going to be really cool to use. And um, I think the Tigers are also getting two new versions. So I think it's Erythristic and what was the other one? Let me look on Steam. Uh, yeah, Erythristic and Pseudomelanistic. So if I just quickly look up what those are. So pseudo-melanistic tiger. Ah, so it's the ones with the more mottled black stripes. So the ones that sort of fuse to make it look much darker. So, and erythristic. Oh, we're getting the Royal Bengal tiger. Oh, we're getting the Royal Bengal tiger. After all this time, it's finally here. It's finally here, Royal Bengal Tiger. Well, got a uh, hang on, a uh, golden tabby. Sorry, I mean they're sort of royal, aren't they? They look majestic though. So it's sort of like a golden tabby, uh, s strawberry tiger. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be cool. Uh, let me just look up what a Royal Bengal Tiger is supposed to look like. Oh, hang on, Royal Bengal Tiger is a subspecies of the Bengal Tiger. Whoops, <laughs> whoopies. But, um, yeah, Golden Tabby and Erythristic, or, well, Pseudo-Melanistic Tiger. So, Erythristic with the orange. It's early in the morning, guys. <laughs> yeah, very early in the morning. But, um, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on the Eurasia Owl Pack. I've seen a lot of people comparing it to Arid, being like having a lot of undulates. But they are very welcome. So... Fun fact, all these animals are within the top 100. So that just says something right there. So Wolverine was number one. And if I just double check the wish list, uh, I think the Bites, the Wizent was the lowest at around 88 thereabouts. So yeah, Wolverine at number one. Uh, the, where is it? The Tarkin at eight. The Saiga at 29. Sloth bear at 32, so sloth bear is is the lowest of the bears, but still welcome. Wild boar is 36. The mute swan, where is it? Uh, is 52, and the wizent is 88. Yep, there we go. So, yeah, all within the top 100 right there. So it's a pretty fan favorite pack, if you ask me. I, th I I think a lot of um, European players will be very happy with these inclusions. So, yeah, if you're a European player, good on you. And a few Asian animals too. They will really enrich some sections, like Himalayan sections and Indian sections, particularly with the sloth bear. But, yeah, I'm excited for this pack. If you're excited, leave your thoughts down below and subscribe for more as we will be covering this pack in the consecutive days leading up to its release and we'll showcase it when it comes out what's happening this december we've got plan zoo dlc we got the prehistoric kingdom update very cool stuff happening so yeah that's all from me today and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye